So my name is Mark Rothman, and um, I started off as a computer programmer. I was an, a CIS major at Ohio State University, go Buckeyes, and I came here to work on the air traffic control systems. Um, left there, kind of went through a couple different iterations, and one day got fired from a job and needed a job. So I became an IT contractor back in the early days when IT contractors were just sort of getting started. And I had a little three-month contract until I, uh, un until I got myself a real job. And it turned out my three-month contract lasted about three and a half years. And during that time, I learned the business uh, from the guys that I was working for. And as I was learning the business, I, I realized that I was doing pretty well. I was making, you know, 40 bucks, 45 bucks an hour, which isn't bad back in the day. Uh, but they were making 10 or $15 an hour off of each person, and there were about 100 of us. And one thing they taught us at Ohio State was how to multiply. And I realized that 15 times 100 is better than 45. So I realized that I could probably do this business myself. And uh, that's when I, I uh, left that contract after three and a half years and opened up uh, my company, which was called the MITA Corporation, M-Y-T-A. And uh, MITA is actually uh, in memory of my parents. The first two letters are the first two letters of my dad's name, Myron. And the last two letters are the last two letters of my mom's name, Nita. And I got myself a job as a computer programmer through my own company working for Fannie Mae as a contractor. Um, did some technical work for him, kept my nose clean. And then when my manager there needed more people, I said to him, do you mind if I look for him? Kind of as if I'd never thought of it before. And uh, found some people for him. After the first year, we had about four people working for us. After the second year, I had about a dozen people working for me in addition to myself doing the technical work. At that point, I got out of the, uh, the technical work myself, opened an office, hired a recruiter, and became an IT staffing firm sort of in earnest. And over the next eight years, we grew the company to about 30 million in sales. We had about 200, 220 contractors at our, at our largest, and we had about 25 people in the office. And in 1992, I then, I'm sorry, in 2002, 10 years later, I then sold the company. Um, and that was the end of the MITA Corporation. And then I went on a 12-year vacation and uh, did a lot of fun things over those 12 years. Um, Served on some boards, did a bunch of traveling, by the way, traveled all over the world, went to Africa and Alaska and Australia and, and all over Europe and all sorts of things. Um, did some charity work, served on some boards, did some business stuff, did some angel investing, um, which was very fun. Served on some boards of the companies I invested on. Um, served as a partner in a couple other businesses. And, and one of the things I did was I decided to have uh, kids. And I've always been single, and I, I ended up having twin girls on my own. Um, hired a surrogate to do that, so that was kind of an interesting, interesting process and an interesting experience, and continues to be as they grow. And about a year and a half ago, I decided that it was time to start again. Uh, my girls needed to see me go to work. They couldn't just wonder why we lived in this big house in Bethesda, Maryland, kind of magically. And I thought getting, having them have a good work ethic would be pretty important, or is pretty important. Um, so I opened up sort of the second iteration of MITA Corporation. We're calling it MITA Technologies now. And we've been at it for about a year and a half. Um, we're starting to get some traction. And we're uh, kind of back in the thick of things now.